okay so we'll start with something called as gradle right it is a build automation now why you need to use the gradle see what they have said over here build anything write in java c++ python or language of your choice gradle is going to help you automate everything use gradle rich api and mature ecosystem of plugins and integrations to get the ambitious about the automation see means gradle is nothing but the little little tasks and tasks are written into the plugin so it is everything is related to the delivery that is for sure right automation and the delivery whenever you are going to say that i'm developing the product and at that time right your automation or building the project is very important how you build the project that is very important right so that automation is provided to you by the gradle right that automation is provided to you by the gradle okay now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to use some intellij idea right i'm going to use something called as intellij idea one of the editor for the java developers most of the java developers use intellij idea right why because gradle is built into that gradle intellij supports a rich to the gradle right intellij having very nice support to the gradle okay now what is gradle see if this is my application or you can say something called as microservices right gradle is nothing but what microservices or gradle can be used for mobile application development and for the microservices see from the mobile apps to the microservices so invention of the gradle is by looking at the project microservices right or the concept of the microservices means you would be having little little what you can say you would be having little little parts of your application little parts of your application that can be independent or that can be communicating with each other these are the parts this can be independent parts of your project right or they are speaking with each other these are the independent parts or they can be speaking with each other okay so in the terms of gradle you are going to call it as what you can say it is modules you are going to call them as modules right here also another module this is also one another module this is also you can say another module this is an module this is also module and this is also module so gradle works in the modular fashion so every single module can be work working as what you can say microservice or the independent app in the terms of android application development every single module would be working as the independent application there is nothing but what the independent application or the microservice right or the microservices okay fine so this is the gradle and this is the module okay now let me show you something so one of my project i am working on now you can say any any project or let me create new project new project and to this new project can you see intellij idea is nothing but the android studio means android studio is written on the top of intellij idea what i am saying this in in your studio is written on the top of intellij idea right okay so here i am selecting the gradle right here here i am selecting the gradle project and into the gradle project i am selecting the java make sure that java 8 is on your machine right make sure that java 8 is on your machine you have selected the java then say next and here now group artifact and the version whatever you build over here right that can be differentiated by the three things group artifact and the id i can say or let me change the folder or say next okay com dot code cool dot you can say java 
com.codecool.java artifact right artifact would be brush up you can say brush up right and the version would be 100 snapshot dot zero dot snapshot snapshot means work in progress you are getting some what you can say features what we are implementing into this that is nothing but the snapshot right this is not the final so snapshot is there candidate release is there and then release is there snapshot candidate release release and it, it, it is absolutely dependent on the company to company how that can be differentiated okay then say next over here then here you are saying that whenever you create the project right make the auto imports and please make what you can say directories empty directories and the folder structure kindly make it so I have ticked these three things and here my J Java 8 is selected then say next over here right and it is asking you where to sh where to create the project just go to that project over here say Android then code cool 2017 Feb and here you can say what is that in this you can create new folder and what's the date okay 17 12 right 4 to 6 and you can say Feb here you can say Java brush up Java brush up okay then okay and into this project I want to create or into this folder I want to create the project see into this folder it would be creating some project structure for you it is actually by the gradle internally that is hitting one command called as gradle init if on your machine if you have installed the gradle right you are just going to hit one command called as gradle init so into that empty folder it is going to give you one project structure gradle will give you one project structure okay it has generated the source folder then build.gradle settings.gradle we have seen what do you mean by settings.gradle settings.gradle is nothing but right settings.gradle is nothing but what the modules here you will find something called as the module so what I did in this tutorial is that I created the project right I created the project we have discussed what do you mean by the gradle and one file called as setting.gradle into that setting.gradle you will find different different modules now how to create the modules and how to deal with the modules that we'll see in the next tutorial right how you are going to see or how you are going to create new modules how two modules would be communicating with each other right all that things we'll see in coming tutorial okay now let's meet in next tutorial